guys, Florida has a huge snake population and being able to identify those different snakes can lead to a better experience while traveling or living in Florida. So let's start off here. If you're gonna be anywhere south of Disney World, there's only four venomous snake species you have to worry about. And if you're up north or in the Panhandle, there's only two additional venomous snake species you'll have to worry about. If you like snakes, go ahead and show the whole world that by hitting the like button. That'll help this video get around. There's three other parts already out to this video and there's three more parts to come. So this one's specifically dealing with venomous snake species here in Florida. These snakes have been featured in some of my previous videos, which y'all would already know that these are non-venomous. If not, be sure to go and check out some of those other videos. Now let's talk about venomous snakes. This could potentially be the most common venomous snake you can run into here in Florida. This right here is the cottonmouth. The cottonmouth is so widespread because it lives in waterways, and waterways act as highways for the snake to be mobile and travel and disperse far and wide. Juvenile cottonmouths are quite stunning in appearance. They almost blend perfectly with their environment and many times are overlooked or not even seen at all. And sometimes in some unfortunate circumstances, people are bit before they even see the snake. They can bite you underwater as well. They usually feed on a diet of fish, crayfish, and frogs. However, they will defend themselves when cornered. Now cottonmouths are great swimmers such great swimmers that in fact they're one of the only snake species that's able to inhabit islands off the Gulf of Mexico. Now these guys can get quite large, in fact the record length being 71 inches, but on average only around 31 inches. Now they're a girthy snake and they can eat a pretty large meal. If you're in northern or northeastern Florida, then you might get this guy confused. This is the copperhead. Now, copperheads live in a similar environment to the cottonmouth, however, there are some differences. Copperheads are lighter in color and they lack that black band behind their eyes. Copperheads also have the weakest venom of all the venomous snake species here in Florida. This is their range. Male copperheads generally are larger than female copperheads and can exceed three and a half feet long. The record length for a copperhead is 53 inches. There's five subspecies of copperheads but in the Florida area, we only have the Southern Copperhead. Copperheads, like the Cottonmouth, are both members of the Pit Viper family. In fact, five of the six venomous snake species here in Florida are all members of the Pit Viper family. The largest of those Pit Vipers is the Eastern Diamondback. The Eastern Diamondback has been recorded in 1946 at a record length of seven feet, eight inches, although reports of snakes over eight feet and eight and a quarter feet have been reported but no actual evidence was turned in or the lack of voucher specimens snake skins have been turned in but those can be stretched and misleading to the actual size of the snake it's easy to identify an eastern diamondback if you just look on his back you'll see those diamond shaped patterns and the most iconic part of the diamondback is the rattlesnake tail. That's why it's called a diamondback rattlesnake. Slightly smaller and only inhabiting northern Florida like the copperhead, however, slightly more western range is the timber rattlesnake. Now the timber rattlesnake has a subspecies called the canebrake rattlesnake. The largest ever recorded timber rattlesnake had a length of 62 and a half inches. Now that's a pretty large snake. It is a rattlesnake like the diamondback, however their pattern is more stripe-like than it is diamond. The smallest of the venomous snake species here in Florida is the dusky pygmy rattlesnake. The dusky pygmy rattlesnake hardly ever exceeds 25 inches in length. In fact, the record length is 31.6 inches and that was a captive snake for over 12 years and fed a consistent diet. This rattlesnake inhabits all of Florida and most of the southeastern United States. Now, the eastern hognose is commonly mistaken for the pygmy rattlesnake. The hognose can broaden his neck out and look just like a pygmy rattlesnake. And there's no wonder why these two are often confused. Which brings us into our last venomous snake species here in Florida. Now this is the coral snake. The coral snake is the only venomous snake 
that is not a member of the pit viper family. In fact, this snake is closely related to cobras, mambas, and sea snakes, and not so much to rattlesnakes, cottonmouths, and copperheads. Generally, this snake does not exceed three feet in length. However, some specimens have been reported up to five feet. There's a couple different genera and subspecies of coral snakes, but we only have one coral snake here in the Florida area. This snake is often confused with scarlet snakes, milk snakes, and scarlet king snakes. However, if you just remember this old saying, red on black, friend of jack, red on yellow, kill a fellow, you'll be just fine. That's it. We've talked about all the venomous snakes here in Florida. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and tune in for future episodes and go check out our previous snake videos. And if you subscribe, be notified when the new all ones right, come. Alright guys, look at this. This is a shell turtle. Let me see if I can get him. Oh yeah.